Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ho. Today I'm going to be talking about why I think Shein is a very problematic brand. To start off, if you don't know what Shein is, it's a global Chinese brand. And yes, I myself have shopped from Shein before. I'm not here to act like I'm better than anyone because there are a lot of people online with their noses stuck up pretending like they don't have a cart full of Shein items while they judge everyone else for shopping there. Let me... <laughs> oh my god! I feel like everyone is in different positions in life in every sense of the word, so we can't judge society as a whole for shopping fast fashion. You don't know someone's position in life financially. You don't know if their only option is to shop at Shein because that's all they can afford. And that is okay. And quite frankly, it's no one's business to really talk down on anyone's situation. Brands like Urban Outfitters and Zara are also fast fashion, but they sell their clothes for three times the price than Shein. So of course someone would want to go on Shein and spend less and get more than, you know, spend more and get less. It's just common sense. And not only does Shein sell clothes, but they also sell home goods as well. I've had bad experiences with the two times that I've ordered from Shein and since seeing these long-term effects that I'm gonna go further into in this video, I just have decided to stop shopping there altogether. The first package I ordered from them never came, but I don't know if that's directly the company's fault or just the delivery company they use, but it just never came. <laughs> I feel like Shein is primarily known for their dupes. I feel like I'll see something trending online on someone like Bella Hadid or really popular influencers and a couple days later, I will see that piece on Shein. Dare I say it's even worse than Fashion Nova with the Kardashians. Like the trend cycles are just getting shorter and shorter. You see a post, a couple days later, the piece is boom, immediately recreated and put online. <laughs> But I feel like primarily I've seen this on TikTok with very popular influencers, but I'll get right into that in a second. I completely understand the thought process at hand. You see a piece you admire on someone online, but you're like, wow, I can't afford this price tag. So later on, find it for a quarter of the price on Shein. In regards to the company, I do feel like it's gone way too far and a line has been crossed to the point where I feel like a lawsuit is well deserved. <laughs> I'm going to jail. Get going to prison. <laughs> they constantly have 80% off sales on items that are already insanely cheap. That, that in itself will show you that Shein does have an agenda. So you can't blame everyone for what goes on, especially not lower income people because they aren't the ones funding Shein. The ones funding Shein, believe it or not, are the rich. Did I lie? Did I lie? Did I fucking lie? But aside from it being fast fashion, they have had their amount of controversy for pieces they have put on their website. A lot of offensive and racist symbolism, for example, this Nazi necklace, appropriation, this Islamic prayer mat, and this phone case showcasing a black man dead, outlined with white chalk, and handcuffed. It's just ignorant and disgusting. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Just like Dolls Kill, for stealing from designers and having ignorant and racist pieces on their website, I stopped shopping there as well. But I'm not gonna get all into Dolls Kill because that's a whole entire other problem in itself to unfold. Shein really are ruthless, like in my opinion, they really try to get it by any means necessary. There are no type of ethics there at all. Literally all they've done is take down the items 
no formal apologies, just a slap on the hand, because they most definitely know they can get away with it. That was fun. We got away with it, as usual. <laughs> they are getting a massive amount of sales on a daily basis and millions of dollars a year. Retail therapy is real, ladies and gentlemen. It's also the audacity of stealing from smaller designers. Nothing angers me more. Someone sat there and put their time, thoughts, creativity, and hard work on this design just for it to be replicated, stolen, put on a website without any second thought. As someone who has designed clothes themselves and has gotten their ideas stolen, I can tell you it's a very shitty feeling. And I feel for small designers who get their ideas stolen by companies like Shein because that's such a higher scale. But it's safe to say that Shein just really pride themselves in being unethical. Let's get ethical, ethical. I want to get ethical. I feel like fast fashion has been talked about for many years, but I feel like as of recent, it's been talked about more than ever. At one point, I was very tired of hearing people talk about fast fashion because it was always talked about in a very privileged way. When their anger should be more directed towards rich influencers doing a thousand dollars plus hauls of Shein online. But anyways, it becomes super concerning. I go to the thrift store and I see so much Shein. I used to go to the thrift store and it would just be all vintage quality pieces. And now it's slowly getting replaced with lower quality pieces from Shein. It's to the point where I genuinely believe that in a few years or maybe even in a decade, most of the clothes at the thrift store will be fast fashion. The thrift used to be a great resource for the less fortunate to get great quality pieces for a lower price. And things just aren't the same anymore. It's become very clear that this is a huge issue and it's not like how it was when people first started talking about fast fashion back in 2014 during the whole Forever 21 craze and the Zara dupes. Things have taken a much worse turn with this wave and I feel like TikTok is the primary reason of why it's so different this time around. I will scroll on TikTok and I will see a pretty girl with a cute outfit and 9 times out of 10, it's from Shein. You will go in the comments and scroll and you will already see people asking, oh, where's your top from? Where's your pants from? And it will always be Shein. The amount of comments that I come across on TikTok saying it's from Shein, 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 is absolutely insane. And I don't think necessarily wanting to be trendy is the issue here. I definitely couldn't afford a lot when I was younger, so during my little phases where I wanted to stick to what everyone else was wearing, I would go to the thrift and try to find pieces that were trending in fast fashion stores because at the time I couldn't afford the prices of retail and I could only afford thrift store prices. But now with the amount of influencers strictly doing bulk sheen hauls and people trying to obtain this Pinterest look for the cheapest price due to the pressure of having to dress a certain way has been really crazy to see. I don't blame the people, I blame corporations and I blame influencers who are brainwashing people into thinking that they all have to dress the same. She looks like every other bitch, like. And I'm always torn with this because I myself am um, an aspiring YouTuber and someone who likes fashion, it's very hard because a lot of the times, like, all that's going on is so unethical and to be pumping so much content to the point where you are making it seem like it's not okay to outfit repeat when outside of these cameras everyone outfit repeats but you have everyone wanting to buy sheen in bulk because they need a new outfit they need a new outfit every time they go on social media 
The rate that clothes are going in and out of style is like actually alarming. I was inspired to make this video with my own thoughts and opinions after watching Mina Lee's video here on YouTube and there was something she said that I just thought was really funny and it was that they are cosplaying as the most popular girls in school. And I thought that was the most accurate description to describe this new wave of fast fashion. The effects of all of this is really going to affect our environment. Well, it's already affecting our environment. And even though I am not perfect, none of us will be, I will still shop fast fashion. I won't say it'll completely be cut off because then I'd be lying to say that I'm going to be this perfect minimalist who doesn't shop fast fashion, only shops at sustainable shops and has like 10 pieces in their wardrobe. I'm not doing that because that's what everyone online tries to make it seem when they have this whole minimalist sustainability front. Don't get me wrong, it's great to invest in pieces that are going to last in your wardrobe, which is what I love doing and I've started doing at this point in my life. But I just think it's really important to self-educate and just be aware of what's going on, especially if you're in a position of privilege. And I've really just never expected for TikTok to become what it has today because I was definitely one of those people who's like I'm never downloading TikTok I'm never downloading TikTok I hate TikTok ew then I downloaded it the algorithm caught on to what I liked and I've been scrolling on there ever since but I just think it's interesting that TikTok does have a very dark side to it and I think we should all be aware of that at the end of the day if you guys have any information or links to send me on this topic, please comment them down below. I love to stay informed and educated. And if you all want to start a discussion about this in the comments, I would love to hear your opinions. But that's all for today's video. I hope you all have a lovely day. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye. Fight and cry.